Uh, yeah. Policeman? Yeah. This is Ethel and that's Mommy. Here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, her dad was my half uncle. That showed me and Ethel half first cousin. Okay. She's the one we lived with when we were up on, yeah. on the east uh, side of town. Yeah. I liked her. She was a nice lady. Ethel was good. Yeah. Ethel was between a rock and a hard place. She couldn't help some people that she wanted to help, just like us, because uh, Merle and old Jay wouldn't let her. Now, Homer McCullough, that was, uh, that's, was that Mom's? That's uh, Stilly McCulley and Rachel's boy. Okay. McCullough. What was mom's middle, grandma's middle name? Did she have one? Middle name? Yeah. <laughs> Sir Mahala Pieta. McCullough. McCullough. Or Howard. Or McWhorter. First McWhorter, then Howard, and then McCullough. Yeah. 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 Sir Mahala Pieta. Her name was Sarah. I like Sarah. Yeah. Well, how come she didn't go by Sarah? <laughs> Farther back than I remember. Some of them probably just like Mahaley. And it wasn't Haley. It was Mahaley. Mahaley, yeah. M A H A L A. No, it's just because it's around here. You want to you want to get Tried to buy this one. Nobody owns this or what? I guess it was that one that you tried to buy. Yeah. Nobody'd sell it or they wouldn't sell well, it. I think it belongs to that Okay. Got a picture on the front. Yeah. Yeah. Huey wear that hat all the time in the house and on the outside. Somebody's hit that one. <clears throat> Jolly, she was 15 years old. 15 years old. In 1903, he was 20, uh, 28. Yeah, 28 and 15. He did rob the cradle. <laughs> <laughs> Not very much. Here, let me have a camera out here then. I got the foot of the cord. 
got a pretty good paint job on it. How's the old house look inside, Dad? Uh, pretty good. You had any food on there yet? Well, he doesn't even have a sign down here. No worries. I guess he'll probably stick it under the floor. road that I used to carry the mail over from here to Compton when I was 19 year old. Carried it a horseback. Where from? Kingston to Compton or what? No, it's from Crossroads to Compton. How far was that? Oh, it's about 10 or 12 miles. 12, I guess. Sparking in this house right here. And went with a Clark girl. And that one back down there on the right is uh, Dewey Clark, Mildred Clark. And Mildred is my sister, Dilbert, Dilbert Spencer. What was the Clark girl's name? Flossie. Whatever happened to her? Uh, she got married. She married a white, I think, and lived. I think they're living around Kingston. How'd you, how'd you get over here? Was this a road or a horse? Or horse. How far did you live from here? Horse. Oh, about 10 miles. 10 miles, really? 10 miles to the old house. Was this a road through here? Was it just a lane? Like this. Dirt road. That was about 1920, wasn't it? 1930. 1930? Close to 1930. Well, even though you live out here in the hills, you still out chasing girls, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I reckon that's just nature to do. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the way it are. Okay, son. Okay. This is the Crossroads Church. You turn right, right here, and go back about three or four hundred yards. That's just crazy. Oh, mom's oldest brother? Yeah. Oh, uh, died over Bentonville. Yeah. And then your grandpa and your grandma. Who else was there? Boy, I'll tell you what, they took the flower up and go and dump it. Yeah, that's the park. Reimer. Now, he hadn't died yet. Reimer? Yeah. Reimer Clay Clark. Reimer? I thought Reimer was dead. Not on there. His wife is. Yep. He might have remarried and gotten buried someplace else. She, she died in 85. He's not that old. Born in Virginia and Iva. Oh, here's your clerk. Look with their daughter. And Way back. And he lives right across the field there. And I went with 
their daughter when we was young. Back when you were 16 and 17? I guess that I was 25, maybe. 25? Because I didn't young. know what girls was until I was 24 or 5. <laughs> Got three sisters. Frank Clark. Did you go with her, Dad, when you uh, when you hauled the mail? Uh, no, it was after that. Because I was just 19 then when when I carried the mail. the mail. And then I guess I was 23, 4, 5, or something like that. Where's that? 24. Yeah. Was, but he was born in '63 and died in '87. He's just 20, 24. While you were gone, Calderhead. You know the Calderhead, Calderhead. <laughs> the people that's talking about where the lightning struck him. Is that right? Yeah, Calderhead. Uh, and I'll bet you that. Is that all the same name? They both died in uh, 1909. 1909. These two. Now, she was April 19th, and it just says May on his and doesn't give the... These two are April 19th. Yeah. Both on the same day. Janet called her head. Well, what about the other? Uh, I'll bet you the three is what died. No. no. It's October of eight. This is, this is J.D. Uh, Spencer and Maud Spencer, and I stayed with J.D. and Maud when uh, we called him Douglas all the time then. And when I was uh, 19 year old, this is the family that I stayed with. And we looked at their daughter, Georgie, that was right up there that was died. She had married an all red. Years old. When she died? Yeah. Born in 80 and died in 71. Well, that's right. 91 years old. And Alvin Klein, 75 to 56, he was 81. Francis Al Alvin, wasn't it? Yeah, Francis Alvin Klein, yeah. Yeah. I remember coming to his funeral in 56. Oh, this is... Orphe Klein. Now this is a little sister of your mother, isn't it? Yeah, she was born after mom and, and didn't, didn't live or didn't something. She didn't live very long. October the 19th. So 15 and so February, they only, she only lived about five months. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard your mom talk about it. Back when I was, I guess, 25 or six year old. And that helped a lot of families out in the PWA. Worked on the roads. And worked on the roads and built roads. And, and boys got into that, kept their families out. Okay. Cup. Dollar, dollar a day is the cheapest I ever worked for, but your grandpa has worked 50 cents a day. And my grandpa has worked on the other side, has worked for. Uh, 75 cents a day. A day, not an hour. <laughs> okay. Remember when, uh, when you were growing up, uh, during the Depression particularly, uh, I think you remember mom or you or somebody telling me that you, there was times you didn't even have a nickel to go to the store and buy some salt with. We didn't hardly have nickels. We only had nickels when we'd take a basket of eggs to the grocery store are some old hens and sell them and buy sodium salt, baking powder, and flour and stuff like that. We eat cornbread most of the time. For because breakfast, we, dinner, and supper. Breakfast, dinner, and supper. Because we uh, we raised that. Tend to afford to eat the eggs because you had to take them to the That's right. That's right. We loved eggs, but we didn't get to eat them. How much you get for it? What did eggs bring back then? Well, one time a nickel a dozen. 
Nicholas for a dozen eggs. Nicholas for a dozen eggs. But mine, remember, it's as long as 10 and 12 cents. I can remember the world of the times when there's any eggs, 12 cents a day. 12 cents a day. A lot of people have eggs. A lot of people have eggs in there. Oh well, no, everybody had a few eggs to sell. Take them into the grocery store. Yeah. yeah. Sell them. Yeah. yeah. You anyway, lived real simple back then. You lived out of the garden. You lived out of the field. Anything like that you could sell. Raised your own hog, salted it, salted it, couldn't stand it. You and had cured it. You, yeah, Boy. you had your meat, your lard, and your milk and your butter, so you're around, just about. Step out of the garden, or we could go in our cellar and get stuff. And and, I and, mean, and. fix a big, big meal. Sausage and stuff right out of the cellar. What you doing? You got cold and you have a garden. Well, we never failed having a garden, but uh, when it was... Uh, we canned it up to have it through the winter time. And it's like he said, the meat, we had it year around. Some kind of meat. Over there. Dad come over here with no wagon and horses and old grandma's. We go out each stop, we get to go up the tower. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we'd drive up to it, and sometimes we just walk up there. You know. From from our house at Compton? No, no, no. You no. ride the horse and wagon. We drive through here going to your grandpa's. Grandpa climb. And we'd stop and go up, walk up to the tower and go up it. I remember going up it. Yeah. Yeah, we did. did can you remember going up it? Oh, I can. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a big event. I remember oh, going up it once. Then. It was big. Was yeah. A big mountain. This is the second part of the tower. That's the middle section. Yeah, that's the whole tower. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They used to wear it up. Of course, they may not feel like they need a smaller tower now, but they have better equipment, you know, to... They may not be using that at all. See, they had to hire a man to keep him there all the time. And that sure fit that old Sims boy because he is so lazy. He didn't want to work. All the Sims are lazy. I've, I've never seen one of them like lately. That's pretty. Swing it all the way around, John. I have. And back when I was a boy, that was the thing that I had to do. Somebody built a house down in there. Yeah. Over in here is where uh, Harry uh, Kelly used to live, wasn't it? Right in there somewhere? Or way back. I don't know if you could ever see it or not. There's a house right between the top and the corner over there. What the hell over there? Uh, I don't think that's it. I think it's farther back, way back to your left over there. Boy, oh, I, I'll bet you it'd be bad to go in there now. I bet you couldn't hardly get in there foot. Where I went to school, there's only one building there then, and they added this other two. And that's where I got my big education. What where like you I became got. the scholar that you are. Huh? Yes, that's where I got the most of it. I, my first school was uh, a little school out north of where I lived, but I just went three months ago. And I walked to this school with a needle, two-thirds of a needle in my foot three months on my toe. What was the needle on your toe for? <laughs> he broke in his foot and he didn't know it. I stuck that needle in my foot and then when I knowed he was in there, when I went to walking on my toe. And then three miles to school. And five miles back. <laughs> Seemed and like it was it. uphill both ways. Seemed like it in the, in the <laughs> evening when you start. When you got home, you wanted to go to the cupboard and eat a little. <laughs> But see, they've reframed this, haven't they? The old building, but they they uh, I think put they new put, siding on it, I new doors. I know they put siding on it. I forgot now exactly what time was on that. But they, yeah, just the church. 
Let me ask you some questions. Do you remember when we were kids and we used to ride in those 38 or 40 kids? Some guy up there used to pick us up and call us out here to church? Yeah. Austin? Troy Miller. Is that who that guy Troy Miller. Was? He used to pick us up in an old 28 Chevy and uh, no top on it. And he bring us here to church and we also went to Compton. Okay, who was the guy that was a false? I think it was that used to bring us out here from. Yeah, when they assault, well, they made some things pretty good. Do All right, what was the one that lived over behind us there at Compton on the sawmill and used to pick us up the old Chevy and bring us up here? Oh, that was old uh, Dewey's brother or something. No, he preached out here, too. Oh, uh, you're thinking of uh, Bill Rassie. Arnold Lynn? Oh, no, no, that's a Compton preacher. You're thinking yeah. about Arnold Lynn? Yeah. Arnold Lynn was the one that preached over at Cross Road. Well, this guy used to pick us up, and he brought us over. He lived over by it, way on behind us there in Compton. And he'd bring us out here in an old, old Chevy. I, I think that was uh, Ross Carter. Him and his wife were always arguing, you know. <laughs> this guy wore dark, kind of dark uh, glasses. And I was thinking it was Dewey Fultz and some of his relations or something. You know? Not Dewey wore dark glasses. Dark glasses Not unless it said it was Johnny Fultz. And he wore glasses, okay. and he come out here and preach, but he lived over at Green Park, and he'd come over here and preach. Well, he used to come by and pick us up or something, bring us out here to church, and have the revival and stuff like that out here. I can't remember anybody just after we moved to Compton. <clears throat> I know we used to, Aunt Zelmy lived out down this road here about how many miles? Uh, about two and a half. What is, uh... Your old place, uh, where I was born, was down there too, about what, three miles or so, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah. was born in the old Houghton place, and it's all grown up now. And old house log cabin. Of John. Old log cabin. House of John. I've seen that. That's gone. Where the house is at, where we used to play marble. There's trees bigger than my body. Yeah. Yeah. When, you was a, when right. you was a kid, was yeah. you born there too, or? I was born in a hundred yards before you were born there. Down in down that hill down here. Yeah. On out there, little ways. We had a little garden spot out there. A little log cabin out there that I was born in. Yeah, I, I remember I've been down there as we burnt over the wood burn. Uh, uh, is the foundation still left, do you think? Uh, the old Heron Place? Well, you can't hardly tell it. It's just rocks, you know. It was just native rocks. Native yeah. rocks. And, the, and it was sitting pretty well on the ground anyway. So and when the, the old log building burnt, why, it just about crushed them rocks all up. Yeah. Just burnt up so much, they just kind of twilled. Crumbled, yeah. Crumbled I up. went down there, I spent it five few years ago, and it had to, it was, you can see it still, see where the old well was at. Right. And I think from the foundation, it, it uh, too snaky to go down there. Anyway. Yeah. I, I wonder if that's a, if that water is a, Where's that come from? That's, that's not that's water. There. That's for a uh, septic tank. Oh, this here? Yeah. Oh, oh, water. Decoration, I'll bet she 